सर उड़ीसा इज वन ऑफ द पोरेस्ट स्टेट्स इन द रीजन राइट एंड फॉर द लास्ट फोर टर्म्स बी जे डी हैज़ बीन इन पावर यू सेट दैट चीफ मिनिस्टर डिड गुड वर्क फॉर फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स मोर देन टू टर्म्स नॉट दर्ड टर्म ओके बट नाउ वी नो द सिचुएशन इन उड़ीसा इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड पॉवर्टी सो यू नो if you were to be in charge there of the things how do you change the the state how do you develop it so orissa faces four to five very serious problems um i mentioned to you already the crime and corruption every week there are three to four rapes gang rapes and murders of children and women uh, the breakdown of law and order number 2 is uh, the healthcare system has completely broken down because the government is spending thousands of crores of rupees on advertisements but not enough on the healthcare sector every week you will see examples of poor people carrying the dead of their families on their own shoulders because uh, ambulance is not available because uh, there are no doctors at the hospital it's a very pathetic situation third and fourth are similar to national problem but much more severe in odisha number 3 is farmers problem now there is a farmers crisis around the country it's not a new crisis didn't happen in last 5 years it's been going on for decades but odisha is particularly vulnerable because of poverty mm-hmm. and uh, lack of job opportunities and that brings me to the uh, uh fourth serious crisis now jobs crisis in a country is like india is there everywhere because we have we have to create many more jobs we are not creating enough jobs but odisha me the problem is magnified many fold so 10% or more of our population has migrated uh, we have a more than, popul- more than 10% that's a huge number you know delhi and nct area has uh, 1 million odias mumbai and areas has nearly 1 million so also kolkata surat chennai hyderabad many odias are going to and they are all working in dangerous places they are working in brick kilns treated like animals they are working in iraq and afghanistan can you imagine in war zones people are going to work because there there is such crisis in odisha now many families approach me to help get people back who are in trouble and i coordinate and our embassies and ministry is quite helpful but you will see every week i am at the airport receiving one coffin or more people that are coming back in coffins and sometimes we are able to succeed in getting them back alive now why is this happening because uh the odisha government has not focused on uh, on economic growth it has focused on many other aspects uh only recently last 2 years it has started doing these mega campaigns of so called make in odisha and all that huge advertisement budgets getting lot of people to come from other places but they are not supporting any local enterprise so you know for example my family has a tradition of more than 6 decades uh, my father was a research scientist who came back and created uh, uh, technical uh, businesses which have given jobs to thousands but because of the anger against me by the new bjd uh, these companies and also other other odia local entrepreneurs they'll all tell you they've been harassed they have been threatened they have been extorted from the party line even if you you know you know they're not allowed to do business normally the goons supported by the ruling party go and break up their premises on live television on live television this kind of violence is happening so how will you attract industry how will you so you have lot of mous if you look at the mous signed in odisha they are every year they claim lakhs of crores of mous but, but actual investment is a fraction of that and it is not enough to to create jobs so i think the number one crisis in odisha is uh, to 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 deal with these four law and order to crack down see if you have so much corruption that uh, the chit fund scam and the mining scam are huge sources of extortion and these people are openly operating the government is encouraging them uh, the government uh, is clearly treating them as favorite sons uh you know the chief minister and his uh, top people are flying in the private planes of these these people who are named in these corruption scandals then why will any serious person come to invest so we need to change we need to crack down hard in odisha on crime on corruption and give a level playing field and welcome 
to anybody who wishes to invest, including locals, including outsiders, especially job creating investment. And we need to dramatically improve the situation of farmers and healthcare. Uh, some, some steps uh, which I have been advocating are beginning to happen, such as cash transfers mm -hmm. for farmers. We need to do more of that.